And unless you want me to. Yeah, please. Okay. Yes. All right. So, so H O apostrophe H O apostrophe O P O N O P O N O. Really simple. Okay. So, so what that means is is so the whole is this in Hawaiian is like something that makes a noun a verb. So it's like to put or to make or to something like this. And pono means orderly, correct, right. So ho'pono pono means ho'pono pono means to make correct, to put in order, to make right. Okay. So oh, yeah, or to or to put in an orderly fashion, right? So that's what it means in Hawaiian, right? So it, it it really was sorry. <laughs> to clean up the mess. Yes. Ah, clean up. Right. The to clean everything up. Right. So, so really, it was a, a, an ancient um, mm -hmm. tradition uh, in Hawaii for families and relatives to gather once a year to work on this process, which they would air all of their grievances that they had, speak everything on their mind, and they would resolve all conflicts and get back to loving everybody. And usually, you know the somebody you know the elder in the family or whatever would lead the process and nobody would leave until all the grievances had been settled and resolved and then usually they'd have a feast and celebrate after right so that's that's where the practice started and uh, then in the early 70s there was a lady named uh, uh, Morna Simeona who decided to do a modern version of it so that she could do this herself internally and then she decided she wanted to teach this to other people because she believed that all of our problems were really within ourselves. And if we cleaned up you know, the areas in our lives that were creating these problems, that they wouldn't manifest in our, in, in our outward world. So she began to make a really simple way to do that. And then one of her disciples was a doctor, um, if I can say his name right, E. Halikala. Hugh Len, so he just became known as Dr. Len or Dr. Hugh Len, but he was one of her uh, her students and then disciples. And then when she passed away in 1992, he continued to uh, train and, and it actually simplified even more. And he's the one basically that came up with the mantra of, you know, I love you, you know, I'm sorry, please for please forgive me and thank you. And it really doesn't matter. I mean, you can reduce it down to just I love you. Mm -hmm. If you make it as simple as that. Because really what you're saying is, it has three elements, right? So I love you is, is a plea to, divin to divinity. It's, it's like waking divinity up. It's like saying, hello, I'm here, you know, I want you to, you know, I want you to help me clear what's in my mind, right? So there's three, he says there's, there's three areas that we, exist in three stages or three areas of our lives so this is zero so this is us this is who we are this is from the moment of creation we're pure nothing we're in nothingness there's there's no thoughts there's no problems there's nothing this is who we are we come into creation all the way back to the very beginning with everything inside us that we already need we don't need anything else this, when, when we're at this point, what happens next is inspiration. Divinity comes along and inspires us. So inspire means to draw in. So when you hear divinity doesn't like a vacuum, and this is a vacuum. We're actually blind here. We see nothing, there's nothingness. Because this is love. That's all it is. Love is blind. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, divinity comes in and inspires us. And we say, wow. <laughs> and we follow. Because the mind mimics the inspiration. Mm -hmm. It gets information. And we just follow it because we know that's what our purpose is. We come from zero, nothingness, pure, everything, love, we get inspired, and we act. Over here, we have memory, data. 
It was really interesting to hear you all say about the differences in languages and mm -hmm. the cultures and everything else, because the modern way to deal with that memory is, is actually a problem. It's a replaying of a problem. And so when we do that, the mind mimics again. So it replays the problem. So, and the, and the whole thing is, is we try to cure up all the, all the problems we know we have internally, consciously, but the issue is, is for every conscious thought that we have, there's a million down below that we'll never be aware of. Where do they come from? All our cultures, mm -hmm. all our generations, mm -hmm. from everybody, shared information, shared data, because we're all connected. So we're all sharing the same data. Plus we have our own <laughs> from the time that we're born. The problem is, is that, so these are the two laws. And we have a choice. But we can only serve one master. So while we're in memory, in data, and our minds are in data, we can't get there. This is knowledge. Right, mm -hmm. but knowledge can't get us to inspiration. Would well, that also be like ego? Or? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, it's everything. It's everything your mind's doing, oh. everything. Mm -hmm. Because all your mind has to go on is memory. Mm. Everything that's ever happened, your subconscious, think of it like a hard drive. Mm -hmm. And like I said, we don't even know what it's putting into the hard drive. Remember, I said. It's coming from past generations, from our cultures, from past lives. When we were babies. When we were babies, right? Yeah. Not only that, but our subconscious takes shortcuts, just like I said, that experiment with reading. So it takes a shortcut. It doesn't, as long as it's got the first letter of the word and the last letter of the word, you'll figure it out. It continually keeps dumping stuff into our hard drive that we're not even conscious of because it doesn't want to bother us. Because there's so much data going on all the time. We're only aware of just a minuscule amount that's going on around us. So the method that he came up with, so, so here we can see, we can see inspiration. Over here, we got shades on. We got dark glasses on. We got dark glasses on. Because that's what our memory is doing. Yeah. It's blocking inspiration. Mm -hmm. It's keeping us from our purpose and finding our purpose. So the method of a Ho'oponopono is by simply repeating the mantra. Mm -hmm. You're clearing out all the memories to allow inspiration to happen. Here's wisdom. Mm -hmm. You can't get wisdom from knowledge. From inspiration, you can be attracted to knowledge. Knowledge will not get you to inspiration. You have to clear out the memory. Mm -hmm. yeah. He likes to say, Dr. Dr. Len likes to say, and I love it, did you ever notice that wherever there's a problem, you're there? Because <laughs> <laughs> the problem is always yes. in here. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And you cannot solve the problem with the same mind who created it. That was Einstein, was it? No, I don't um, remember. I don't but it, it comes from the same, right? It's the yeah. same.